what is up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video I'm so excited to have you guys here if you're new hello welcome my name is Claire and I'm a student currently studying naturopathic medicine and I'm super passionate about all things health wellness and just living a healthy and balanced lifestyle and on this channel I love sharing healthy and nourishing meal ideas so that you guys can go get creative in the kitchen and cook yourself up some yummy and nourishing meals but as always I know we are all super excited to get into the food so let's just get into the video And of course we are starting off the week with oats. What else would you expect from one of my videos? I'll leave the recipe for how I'm currently making my oats in the description box below. But on Monday I decided to chop my oats off with some stewed apples, defrosted blueberries, almond butter, and some chopped walnuts. I can see the fist up your heels Then I silhouette up on the still Got it brush drop with the canvas Gotta let the paint dry Bourbon make us feel fine Body heat make the skin cry Baby bake, it's a good night When we wake us still so for lunch, I started by roasting a cauliflower. The original plan was to make kind of cauliflower steaks, but I only got two or three of them out because the rest just fell apart. But I just seasoned those with some coconut oil and garam masala and a little bit of sea salt, and then I just let those roast in the oven. And while my cauliflower was roasting, I decided to make a pesto, and I used edamame beans as the base, and the pesto actually turned out really well. And as usual, I just kind of eyeballed everything. I didn't really measure but I will put my best estimates in the description box below and once my cauliflower was done I just toasted up some bread topped that off with my pesto and a few pieces of my roasted cauliflower finish it off with some hemp seeds and that was my lunch For dinner, I started by chopping up some Brussels sprouts and drizzling those with some coconut oil and salt. I gave those a good massage to make sure that they were all evenly coated and then I popped them in the oven to roast. And while my Brussels sprouts were roasting, I cooked up some pasta. I added some edamame beans just in the last few minutes and I stirred in some of the pesto that I had made for lunch. Served that all up in a bowl along with my beautifully roasted Brussels sprouts and that was my dinner. Oh my, I miss the sun Just wait, it won't be too long Till we arrive the coming day Please ignore my And friend. I had some super ripe bananas So of course I made up some more of my banana bread The recipe for that is on my Instagram So I will have that linked for you guys yes, down below Just make sense to what the reasoning was When I said in And on Tuesday, I had some more oats, topped those off with some stewed apples, cherries, almond butter, and hemp seeds, and that was my breakfast. Like this might be my time to shine with you. 
Alright, so you guys can probably tell I'm in a totally different location now. I'm actually doing some house sitting this week for my brother, so I'm going to be staying at his apartment for a few days. I was super excited to show you guys the view because he has an amazing view from his apartment, but he's actually so high up and it's so cloudy today that we're in a cloud. So I just look out and it's it's completely white outside, but maybe another time. But I do have a Zoom call for school in about 20 minutes, so I'm going to make up some lunch really quick before my call. So I think I'm just going to warm up some leftover veggies. I made up some rice. I'll probably just saute up some tofu, and then I'll probably just make a really quick sauce for it. Yeah, that is the plan for right now. Driving on the freeway at night. I only got one thing in the back of my mind. I'm feeling like this might be my time to shine with you, with you, with you. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on the thought of you. You're making me feel brand new. You're more than a sunny shine in my eyes. So I just fried up my tofu and my leftovers in my pan, served that all up. Of course, I added some sauerkraut and my maple mustard tahini sauce that you guys saw me make. And I ate this while I was on my Zoom call for school. And for dinner, we're going to have to do a little bit of a flashback clip because I actually made this soup over the weekend and then brought it with me. But anytime I make soup, I, I just don't follow a recipe. I normally just throw a bunch of stuff in a pot, cook it up, and it normally tastes pretty good. But for this soup in particular, I did add a apple for some sweetness and a jalapeno for some spice. And then for winter soups and stews, I really do always start with a base of onion, garlic, and ginger. These really just add a nice warming flavor to any winter or fall dish. So I started by warming up some coconut oil, added my onions, garlic, and ginger, and just let those cook down for a few minutes. And then I added my spices, and this is where you can really have fun, experiment, just add the spices that you like. And I like to let those cook down, kind of get more aromatic, if that's the word. And I added some water to deglaze, and then I added my veggies, some lentils, and water. And I just let that cook down for about 30 minutes. Once it was all cooked down, I added it to a blender along with my roasted butternut squash. I also added some peanut butter, but I didn't get that in the video. And then on Tuesday, I decided to make up some of my tempeh croutons to go on top. You guys have seen me make these in other videos, but I just marinated up some tempeh and then put it on a lined baking tray. And then of course to go with my soup, I had to make some garlic bread and I'm a firm believer that the little end piece, the nubbin, is the best piece for garlic bread. So I just mixed up some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic and I spread that on some sourdough, popped that all in the oven. Then once it was all ready to serve, I just warmed up my soup, added my garlic bread and topped it off with my tempeh croutons. That's so good. And I enjoyed my soup while watching the latest episode of Gilded Age, and that was my Tuesday. Just because I was in a different place does not mean that I wasn't craving my same breakfast. On Wednesday, I chopped my oats off with some stewed apples, peanut butter, and walnuts, and I got to enjoy this while looking out on an amazing view.
And for lunch, I needed something super quick before heading out to clinic, so I toasted up some bread and made a little sandwich. If you can't tell, I've been kind of on a sourdough and pesto kick. So I toasted up some sourdough, topped that off with some mustard, pesto. I sauteed up some tempeh in the usual seasonings. I added some lettuce and spinach, and I served that up with some leftover roasted parsnips that I had from the weekend, and of course, some extra pesto on the side to dip. And then after, I wanted a little dessert before I went to clinic, so of course I had a piece of banana bread. Can I place an order for pickup? Your masterpiece My clothes look real good on your teeth all right, so I just picked myself up some sushi. I thought, well, kind of on my mini vacation, I would treat myself. So I decided to get a seaweed salad, a salmon avocado roll, and a cucumber avocado roll. And I'm so excited because I absolutely love sushi. And I just enjoyed my sushi while catching up on some Netflix. I've really been trying to kind of treat myself once or twice a week to maybe a nicer meal or a takeout and just spending some time alone. I find that I get really drained when I'm around people a lot. I know personally I'm a huge introvert, so just giving myself some time to rest, relax in the evenings, and just enjoy myself. So for Thursday, I had some oats for breakfast and then I treated myself to another Starbucks. I was definitely on vacation mode, but I did have to get back to work because I had a lot of work to get done on Thursday. And then about midday, I headed back home for lunch and my heart broke a little bit when I cut open this avocado. I was able to salvage some of it. So I just toasted up some sourdough bread, topped it off with what I could salvage from my avocado along with some lemon juice and hemp seeds. And that was just a really quick and easy lunch. To make you just have a clue All the shit you put me through Skater boy, why'd you pick up and leave? Skater boy, skater boy, look what you done to me. I am not a toy. So for dinner, I just sauteed up some tempeh. Wait, no, not tempeh, tofu. I sauteed up some tofu in the normal seasonings and I just served that up with some rice, leftover veggies, and some more of my maple mustard tahini sauce and some sauerkraut. Is this the exact same meal that I had for lunch on Tuesday? Yes. I am just realizing that as I am editing this video, but like I said, I'm a creature of habit and I love my staples. Thinking of you, but the past is a past, glad that it's so new. Riding around on your board with your angst and your issues, I guess they scored on. Um. Skater boy, skater boy, now you're gone, I don't get free. Skater boy, skater boy, you were no good. I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this. All right, and if you guys watch any of my other What I Eat in a Week, then you guys know on Fridays I go into the office and I have to leave pretty early. So for breakfast, I just took a few pieces of banana bread to have on the way, and then I also took my coffee with me. 
and I just enjoyed that while I was at work. And then for lunch, you guys know the drill. On Fridays, I basically just kind of scrounge around in my fridge and look for whatever I have and pack that for my lunch. So on this particular Friday, I had some leftover rice that I was able to finish off. I also had some more tofu from the night before. I added in some spinach because I knew that it would wilt down in the crock pot. And I used some of my leftover soup as kind of a sauce and it actually turned out really well. I just packed that up, warmed it up once I got to work, and that was my lunch. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. Like all this distance, I want you close to missing your existence. Fill my head with some clouds, baby. Fill my brain with some hair. And on Friday, I was trying to use up the rest of the pesto, and I'm always down for some pesto pasta. So I just cooked up some pasta, steamed up some Brussels sprouts and broccoli, and used the rest of my pesto. I also made up some tempeh to go on the side, and that was my dinner on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. It makes me so happy to read the comments that you guys are getting value out of the videos. Please make sure to remember to nourish your body in a way that makes you feel good. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I know you're tired of waiting, but my friends say that we need some patience. We don't want to wait no more. Can't take breaks no more.